doing our second board where we are going to understand the meaning of local preference right what that local preference is so guys the local preference attribute is just the name but first we are going to understand what problem it is solving so now there is a change in topology just try to understand it more uh, closely we have as 400 here we have as 500 here we have as 100 here we are running two ibgp pairing from r1 to r3 and r2 to r3 and we have another autonomous system number which is 900 and i am having a loopback interface 9.9.9.0 sorry the the route is 9.9.9.0 but the interface is 9.9.9.9 and I'm advertising it into the BGP. Here we are running ABGPs, of course. I'm advertising it from here to here, from here to here. R4 is going to see this route. R5 is also going to see this route. Similarly, with respect to next hop self, there is no problem, guys, because I am advertising all the route. OSPF is running no problem with respect to that, right? Now, just try to understand this route 9.9.9.9 .9 will be in the routing table of R1. This route will be into the routing table of R2. And then this is again advertised back into advertised back, advertised to R3. And R3 is going to see two routes. Route number one 9.9.9.0 slash 24 via r4 right and the attribute list specifically in terms of as path it is going to be via as 400 and 900 it is as simple as that similarly the second one is 9.9.9.0 slash 24 you can figure it out via r5 which is autonomous system number 500 router and of course it is going to be r5 because you are not changing the next stop and here it is going to be 500 and 900 how bgp is going to select the best path from here first thing first it is going to check the next stop attribute of course next stop attribute is going to be reachable right then it will go to the weight if you are not doing anything the weight is going to be zero right then on what basis bgp is this defining uh, deciding this route let's put some condition also mr prashant patil again here and mr prashant patil is guiding his network engineer that what i want from r3 is that r3 should go always go to the best service provider which is r4 towards 9.9.9.0 can you do that for me and you are pretty happy you are saying that yes i will put the weight attribute here what's the problem i just did that in the next previous board but now mr prashant patil has some more restrictions on you prashant is saying that it might be the case that this r3 is connected to another router which is r4 or maybe r7 then it is connected to another router which is maybe r11 and then they are having the IBGP pairing like this. Does that mean that you are going to configure the weight attribute here also? Because weight cannot be transferred from one router to another router. And if I have many routers in my autonomous system number, then I need to configure the weight on each and every router. Because if this guy has two interfaces to go out, I need to select a, an interface uh, with a higher weight if I want to send the traffic over it. And this is the drawback of weight attribute. It is a local, it is going to be local to that particular router. And if it is going to be the local, then it is not going to be transferred. And it is going to increase the problem of this network engineer. And that is why Mr. Prashant Patel is saying that do not do it with weight. Try to think something else. And that is why this Mr. Network Engineer is trying to think something different. And interestingly, it has to find something different. So now, instead of specifying anything or R3, 
when this route is received from Mr. R4, what this R1 is doing, I it is saying I have another number. There is another number which Mr. Network Engineer can assign to the route which it is getting from R4. And this number say, again, this number value is 400 interesting but now this number can be transferred on that route from one router to another router what is the meaning the meaning is when r1 is receiving this route which is 9.9.9.0/24 right via r4 of course it is going to have the attribute in terms of as path which is 400 and 900 and when i receive this route in r1 i have attached another number to it which is 400 simple and believe me when r1 advertise this route towards r3 this number also goes with this route it means that this number will come here 400 by the way guys this number is not the as number so to remove the confusion, I am choosing another number. Instead of 400, let's take it 350. Let's take it 350, right? So here it is going to be 350. I just want to, I just do not want to put 400 because it can create the confusion that this is the AS number. No, it is not. This is the number, but this number has a specific, uh, a specific uh, what we can say usage right by default if you do not assign anything this number is always going to be 100 so for example if you are receiving a route from here to here r2 is going to assign a number to this router and this number is 100 so this is similar to whatever we have learned in uh, in case of weight but weight cannot be transferred but right now if you see here from r1 to r3 this number was transitive right we can transfer this number into the routing table of r3 along with the route and similarly the default behavior of pgp is that it is going to assign this number as r2 this value as 100 and that is why it is going to be here the 100 it is as simple as that and we call this number as guys local preference the higher this number is the more prefer the route is it means that in routers r3 routing table which route is going to get the preference this one because this is having the highest local preference value which can be transferred from one router to another router and believe me you have configured this here only on r1 350 because on r2 it is by default 100 The more this number, the more the preference of that route. And that is why basically we have this preference, right? And what thing it is changing? See, when I get, when R1 get the route, right? I am assigning the local preference to it, right? If I get the route, which traffic direction is going to get the impact? The one which is going out from me and here basically this attribute if i talk about r3 right it is changing that how this r3 can send packet out from as100 towards as100 as900 if the route is going to be like this like this and this the traffic in it right and believe me, you do not need to change. Suppose you have another router here, which is also connected like this to these guys, right? And over this router also, you are running the IBGP, correct? Maybe this number router is R10. You do not need to do anything here, right? Even you do not need to do anything in your any router in your autonomous system because local preference can travel to any part of your as number but it cannot go out from your as number so r10 will also having this route with a local preference of 350 and that is why it is affecting the outbound direction of the traffic 
if you had chosen the higher number here then the outbound direction is going to be like this it is as simple as that and that is all that is for total entire your entire autonomous system number because as and when you are going to add this the local preference value is going to be here and then if the local preference value is going to be here the path best path selection is going to be on the basis of local preference if next stop is reachable if weight is same then the third thing basically we are doing is the checking on the basis of local preference the higher the local preference the more preferable the route is and one thing i would like to tell you here is that if r10 is connected to r15 which is part of some another autonomous system then this local preference is not going to be traveling from one as to another as r15 doesn't have any clue about that what this because uh, what this 350 is because 350 is not going to be advertised from r10 to r15 it is as simple as that local preference actually decides from which router you are going to leave your autonomous system you have two router in this case router r1 and r2 right if the traffic is coming from your autonomous system anywhere from anywhere right but it should coming out then it should be then the local preference can decide what is the exit router from your autonomous system in this case you have decided r1 and everything is going by r1 it is as simple as that now there are questions for mr prashant patel and mr sashidha please do ask your questions guys um uh, uh, let's say uh, so here um okay what is it okay um an r3 router mm -hmm. for this 9.9 .9 network the let's say the as path number is 400 800 and 900 mm -hmm. and we are r5 router yeah 500 and 900 we will come to that okay, in this we case, will come to that as path we will come to that oh. do not worry about it we are going step so, by step is, uh, huh, what was the question yeah. yeah so the the path one right so we have three as number and path two we have two as number yeah. in this case uh, this local pre preference right what r1 is advertising to r3 and r2 so does it take place yes and that is why like 350 we have. yeah that is why we are going in order right the next board where uh, which mm -hmm. i am going to explain you as path so see if next stop is reachable we go to the next step which is weight weight was weight should be same in this case right if weight is same then basically we are going to the local preference because suppose what what would have happened it, on r3 we have decided that we want to go out from r2 suppose right this is the r3 and we have put a weight uh, here for all the routes which are coming uh, like 700 and for here basically the zero right if that is the case then basically bgp will not go into the third step it is seeing that the weight is more uh, for the router r2 it will start sending the packet from here so weight is given preference over the local preference right but the uh, weight law uh, the, the pro problem of the weight was that it was non-transitive you cannot send it to any uh, anybody else it is local to the router but it is not the case with local preference so if you want to decide the exit point of your complete autonomous system just play around with the weight because weight can go from one router to another router inside your local uh, AS number. Okay, Mr. Sashi. Uh, yes, okay. Thank you. Mr. Prashant ji, yes, please tell me what's your question. No, I, I have no, that... question clarified. Oh, clarified. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, Actually, um, you know, uh, I said like uh, the route 9.9.9 9 .9 coming from AS. I ended 400 and uh, it is going to be checked. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And similar going to be connected to another, uh, for example, from uh, router one, it has connected to another uh, atom system, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that has to transfer the same you know, local preference to other devices as well, right? Which is there in different atom system. Local preference cannot go out from your autonomous system number to other. 
Okay, it is going to be within that autonomous system, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay, in that case, what is the option like? You know, if you want to traverse that, we have. I mean, if we you want have, to send the same. Ha, we have okay. another thing. We have other things. We are going step by step. But did you get whatever we have here? We have that option too. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, but from local preference, I am repeating this statement once again that. You are changing the exit point of your entire AS number. Here in this case, the exit point of is R1. If you want that all of your autonomous system number traffic should go out from R1, then basically you can do that. The whatever routes you are learning from the uh, from uh, from AS400, you just give the higher local preference. From here, the low local preference, which is 100, right? The higher the local preference, the higher actually your uh, preference right so how local preference is changing your traffic direction it is changing the outbound direction from your trip from your uh, from your uh, what we can say uh, as number right if you go to the next board i, th I think I, we have a question from mr burak mr burak please do ask your question Okay, thank you, Vishnu. Uh, I am uh, thinking about the scenario like that. Uh, what if, uh, if you want to uh, share the load between the routers, which is uh, in this topology between the router one and router two, we would like to use both of them active. Yeah. Uh, is it possible? To it is possible. Use... It is possible, and we will be we will be learning that in some other lecture, but not today. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Prashant ji, whatever yeah, the question Prashant. you have, uh, yeah. uh, let me complete the other board and then I come to come back to you because it is going to take 10 minutes, right? 